Good morning, neighbors. I decided that this is going to be my anthem for the year. The more I trust him, the more I love him. Nothing good for me he'll deny. The longer I know him, the better I can show him. I couldn't stop now if I tried. Oh, it gets sweeter as the days go by. It gets sweeter as the moments fly. His love is richer, deeper, fuller, sweeter. Sweeter, sweeter, sweeter as the days go by. The moment he saved me, his good grace he gave me. He placed his love that deep in my heart. There's great joy in knowing with him I am going and never more from him to depart. Oh, it gets sweeter as the days go by. It gets sweeter as the moments fly. His love is richer, deeper, fuller, sweeter, 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 sweeter as the days go by. Oh, it gets sweeter as the days go by. It gets sweeter as the moments fly. His love is richer, deeper, fuller, sweeter. It's sweeter, sweeter, sweeter as the days go by. You know, when I like how the song just starts out, the more I trust him, the more I love him. Really, love is trust. It's knowing that he will take care of us even when sometimes we don't understand. We don't know why things are happening the way they are. But when we trust in him, it shows us that our love in for him is growing more and more and more. And uh, you, see that you see it in the lives of the disciples. There are so many questions. At first, they're like, wow, this is great. He's going to take over. Uh, he's going to kick the Romans out, and we're going to be strong, and we're going to be mighty, and we're going to be an uh, independent nation again. But then he shows them, that's not what my kingdom is all about. My kingdom's not even of this world. And they're, Lord, why? Why is this happening? How? how why? Huh? What's going on? But then you see, as time progresses, he lays down his life. He comes back in the resurrection. He ascends. They're given the Holy Ghost, and... Uh, they had really had to learn how to trust him more and more. And then uh, he said, you know, can you believe this? I will be with you always. Even though they're not going to see him with their eyes, I'll be with you. And that really, they still trusted him. They still went about doing what he commanded, even though they could not see him. They couldn't sit down and eat with him like they used to uh, and just walk and talk with him like in the natural sense anymore. But let us, Lord, grow in trust, and then it will show the more I trust him, the more I love him. And I, I know that all things are going to work together for my good. And in John chapter 14, verse 1, you know, he's just told Peter that he's going to deny him. But then he's, but he's speaking to all his disciples, and he, I like it because in my little head notes it says, Jesus comforts his apostles. He announces his coming for them. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. You know, they're not going to go with him. They're going to have to trust. We're still trusting to this day that that, what he said, he will do. He's promised us, and we trust him. And the more we walk in, remember, if you're holding on and you're walking according to his commandments and living the light kind of life that he did, there's a lot of people who don't do that. There's a millions of people on this earth who don't trust, believe, or even they just think he's a fictional character. But you trust in him and what he said, that he has gone to prepare a place. 
And then verse 3, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Lord, help us. Let us go to Jesus Christ and let him show us the way. And trust, you know, it's like a guide in a place that you've never been. You're really trusting in him. Lead me. Uh, a few years ago, my wife and I went to Mammoth Cave. And it's one of the largest cave systems in the world. You're going in there and you realize, without this guide, I would have no idea where I'm going. Uh, he has to guide the way. I mean, because without him, you can be like, well, I'm on a path, but is it the right path? Am I going deeper into the cave system? Am I getting closer to the end? How do I get in and out of here? And uh, not only that, he's controlling the light switch to kind of light up the cave. And uh, when he turned off the lights and the comp you're in total darkness, and he says, you know, this is complete darkness. You realize without that light, lighting the way, I would, I would die down here. There's no way I would know how to get out of here. And Jesus Christ, you have to trust him. He's the only way we're getting out of here. And he's gone to prepare a place. And uh, I do so. I like it that Thomas, he did speak up. Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? How do we find our way? Well, trust in me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Follow in the things that I explained to you and showed you in my life and in my teachings. And let us all be following that example and the more you trust him the more you walk with him the days will just be sweet because you're walking in communion with him so god bless you all this day in jesus christ's name amen